Hello and welcome back to another video with Urban Informatics Over Coffee. I'm Ellen and today will be part one of how to get all your lovely OSM data that you've put perfectly into OpenStreetMaps and turn it into a CSV form for you to do analysis on. So grab your coffee, let's dive right in. So what do we do once we want to get all our wonderful data out of OpenStreetMaps? We can visualize it in MapRoom and we can visualize it in 3ds Max, but if we just want to look at the numbers and play around with the numbers in a spreadsheet, how do we do that? There was lots of answers that Google gave me, none of which were very helpful, and I landed on this very tedious way of doing it, but it worked. I got the data that I wanted, even if it took me longer than it should have. So what we're going to do, we're going to use 3ds Max and we're going to use the Map Room plugin. Okay, with our Map Room plugin for 3ds Max, we are going to press OpenStreetMap here because that's all we're interested in. We're not interested in terrain or anything else for what we're doing. So it generates us that layer and in that layer, once we press on it, we're going to find a location by name. So we're interested in Thomas Town. So we're gonna press the right one and hit okay and then update the space. Once that's done, we go into actually where MapRoom will drag in the data from OSM. So we're first going to set up our radius and I think five kilometers would be good for us. We're going to Ground plane's fine. We're going to set our style sheet as an OSM style sheet so it all looks the same and we'll apply that. Then what we're pulling in from OSM, we're going to pull in the key value. We're going to do it one layer of information at a time and we'll start with building levels. We're going to have that equal to I'm going to start with all the buildings in our study area that are two levels and we're going to untick this merge shapes into groups when imported and we'll see why after we do that. So we'll download and draw the OSM data and you can tiny tiny see it down here. Here we go. And you can see as well that it's also pulled in shapes we don't want. Like I know that this is the leisure center and I'm not interested in the leisure center. So we just want residential buildings. And because it's not in a group, I can just easily say, I don't want this one and delete it from what will become our data set. So once that's done, I will select everything I can see. So we don't want that building, so we'll delete that as well. <laughs> we'll do that again and come back to map room and we're going to go to map tools so we're going to pick a location for it to save to and i have a kml folder and we're up to test five so hopefully this finally all works for me everything just hasn't been working for me today and we'll save and then we'll put export selected and then we'll bring up that folder In test five is there. If you don't press export selected after you pick your location, it's not going to save it. So you need to make sure to press export selected. And as you can see, really you wouldn't name it test five, you would name it what I named this one, double story building. So down the line, when you've got all your things exported already, like I have here, you know exactly which file set is which. And I found as well, rather than loading another layer on top of this, it's a lot easier to just start a new file altogether. Errors kept popping up if I would start a new OSM layer or if I reload something into the same OSM layer. So the trick is to just start again. You have your file, you can start afresh. It doesn't take too long. So we'll just quickly do this again one more time. So we go to map room. Get our OpenStreetMaps layer, find our location by name, spell it correctly, and update the space. 
then into our OSM layer. We'll do five kilometers again. Style sheet as OSM, apply. We'll do building levels equals one. Untick merge and download. There we go, all our single level buildings. There's quite a lot of information in here. And I found that it was easier for me to say all the buildings that weren't two stories was a single story building because this also imports all the sheds. Um, but that's all right. <laughs> it's, it's just a demo, so it's fine. We'll keep rolling. And again, we can see that there's all these buildings we don't want. These are the high school and primary school buildings. So again, we would delete all these buildings here and pretend like the sheds are fine. We still want the sheds. And then we would do the same again. Map tools, select everything, pick a location, call it test six save and then export selected so you would just keep doing that over and over until you got all the layers that you were interested in and ready to go for the next stage in the next video but i hope this showed you something new today in 3ds max even if you are not trying to get csv information and i will see you in the next video